Although much of the work of the Question and Document Unit involves handwriting analysis, its responsibility extends to anything that conveys a message. Recent events have made examiners much more alert to possibilities that substances may be included with a document. All documents contain clues that help law enforcement narrow the scope of an investigation or build the evidence that will convict a criminal suspect. The focus may include examination of the document, a device used to produce the document, even the inks and papers used to create the document. If the document involved in a crime was handwritten, the question document examiner may be able to determine if the document was handwritten by the subject who is under suspicion. Many factors influence an individual's handwriting, the size of a person's fingers, hands, and arms, their muscular makeup, the individual's schooling, and how the person thinks the letter should look. These factors combine to make a person's handwriting unique, thereby identifiable to that particular individual. Most examinations involve comparison of the question specimen with known samples to determine characteristics in common to both. There are two types of document samples, requested and collected. Requested samples are those provided by the suspect and contain the same words that are in the question document. Several samples of the written message are provided by the individual to determine the writer's range of variation. Collected samples are those which are known to be written by the suspect, but incidental to the investigation. For example, samples of writing found in the suspect's home. Using tools that include the magnifying glass and the microscope, along with the examiner's experience and knowledge, the samples are compared to the question document. Characteristics the examiner may take into consideration are beginning, connecting, and ending strokes, pen lifts, pen pressure, line quality, letter formation, spacing and proportions, baseline relationship, dotting the I's and crossing the T's, and the general overall appearance of the writing. Matching the tear edge of torn paper on which the writing was produced may link a suspect to a criminal activity. Watermarks on the paper, as well as other manufacturing characteristics, may be examined to determine if the document is genuine. Stock and bond certificates, or checks, for example, may look the same in all aspects except for these structural characteristics. The microspectrophotometer is one instrument used to help determine the authenticity of a document. The instrument measures light in the visible and ultraviolet regions that can be used for information about the inks and papers of known samples compared to question ones. Some criminal activity involves an attempt to change a document. In these situations, the examiner may use an instrument called a video spectral comparator to determine if the document has been modified. The instrument exposes the document to various wavelengths of light which show, in this example, the amount was written by two different inks. Writings destroyed by fading, burning, water damage, or chemical destruction may be revealed in this same manner. In addition to examining the writing style or the paper characteristics of a question document, the device that created the question document may also be examined. All manufactured mechanical devices contain microscopic irregularities such as dents, pits, or scars. Using a stereo microscope, the examiner locates the unique markings on a mechanical device such as a typewriter, check protector, notary seal, or rubber stamp. When the unique markings on the device match impressions of those markings on a question document, a key piece of evidence is established to help the law enforcement investigator and build the case. When the criminal activity involves or includes a message, the question document unit can assist law enforcement by narrowing the range of suspects and focusing the investigation.